Given that set P is having members 1 and 2, while set Q is having members 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what are the members of set P intersection Q? Let's solve it. So we have the options given to us. A, 1, 2, B, 3, 4, 5, 6, C, 4, 6, and then D, 3, 5. Now, let's solve and see which one is the correct option. So we have set P, which is having the members 1 and then 2. And we have set Q, which is having the members 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So in order to be able to identify which of them is the intersection, we need to understand what is meant by intersection of sets. An intersection of sets simply means sets which are having common members, okay? In the sense that we have P and Q. So which of the members in set P can also be found in set Q? Those are the members that we call intersection. Those members are common to P and Q, right? So let's write that. We have set P intersection set Q. So which of the members or numbers can be found in set P and can also be found in set Q? Now we can see one in set P. We can also see one in set Q. So we write our one. We can see two in set P. We can also see two in set Q. So we write two. There are no other members in set P, okay, which can also be found in set Q. So we close our brackets. So these are the numbers that can be found in set P and can also be found in set Q. So that is the intersection of P and Q. So which of the options given to you do you think is the correct answer? We have A, which is 1, 2, B, which is 3, 4, 5, 6, C, which is 4, 6, and then D, which is 3 and 5. And the correct answer is what? A, which is 1 and then 2. If this is your first time of reaching this channel, press the subscription button, subscribe, and then press notification bell so that you will be updated on any new videos. You can click the channel name there to go through the playlist to watch more of these tutorials on Q&A.